Hi and welcome to Crafty Ladybug. Today's tutorial is going to be on the spark plug. This cute little Dalmatian puppy that I've made to go along with our fireman series. Since the fire dog is typically a Dalmatian, that's why I decided to do a Dalmatian. And I'm calling him spark plug because he is just a little puppy and he will coordinate with the matching larger sparky fire dog, the larger fire dog, the mama dog, that I'll be pl putting out also on my channel. So let's begin with spark plug. To begin with spark plug, you're going to need two eyes already threaded onto a white band. Please see my bead threading tutorial if you don't know how to do that. You need that to begin with. You're going to need a pink band with a knot tied in the center of it. Just tie your pink band into a knot in the very center and this is going to become our little tongue. So that's a preparation band that we need to do. And we will be using white bands and black bands for the main portion of spark plug. Our loom set in an offset configuration with the arrows pointing towards us. We have a few steps that we need to do before we begin. And the first step is going to be to take a single black band. And what I'm making is some of the spots that are on the body. I'm making the bands that form the spots on different portions of the body. So we need to take a single black band, wrap it around your hook five times. And to do that, I just take and I place my hook through the loop once. Twist two, three, four, and five. So you want five loops on your hook now. And I know that's going to be a difficult procedure today because um, the white and the black, but hopefully we will get through it. Then I need you to take two white bands and you're going to pull those black bands onto those two white bands. To simply slide those black bands over onto those white bands and place them in the center. And then be sure to try to keep your, your edges open and we're just going to set that down. We need to make two of these, so we're going to do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Five time loop on my hook. Two white bands. Oops. Two white bands pulled over on two. The two white bands, or the, the black bands pulled over onto the white bands, and we're going to set that aside. Now we need to do this again, very similar, but we're going to be using one white band. Okay, so it'll be a black again five times. One, two, three, four, and now we only need one band and we're going to squeeze those five over onto that one band and twist it just a little bit we're going to set that down and we need to do this three times so there's one two three four five One band through, and we're just going to set that down. One, two, three, four, five. Pull one band through, one white band through, and we're going to set that down and aside for a moment. Now we're going to begin by laying spark plugs head and face area. To do that you're going to take two bands and lay from the left to the right. I mean I'm sorry from center to left. Two bands there from center to left. Two bands coming down the left side. Two bands down the center. Nope, I'm sorry, don't do the two bands in the center for this 
right side here, we want to grab the first one that we made, the two bands with the black on them. This is where we want to put those two bands. So you just want to stretch open those bands and get them on there. And this is going to cause spots to be in the back of our head for us, behind the ear. So that was our two band combination with the five black. And now we're going to come down the loom again on the right side with two plain bands. We're going to come down the middle with two bands. We're going to come down the middle again with two bands. And we're going to close off the center with two bands going to the left diagonal. Two bands going over here to the right diagonal. And that is going to complete his face portion. I do need to do the horizontal bands in the eyes, but I will get to those in just a few minutes. Now we need to do his neck portion. And his neck is going to be two bands. And now I need to do his back body portion, which is going to be a semi, we're going to work on a semi starburst type of pattern in this area. And for that purpose, we are going to be using a single band coming around his back. You want to take a single band with the little black piece on it and place one from the left to the right. I'm sorry, from the left down straight. Another single band to complete the left to the center. And then we want to come up here on the right and use one of our black bands that we have started and place that there. And we want to come down on the right with a single white. And then we want to take our single white and finish off right there. Not our single white, but our white with the black. So you've got plain white, white with the black in the center, and plain white. And then we start up here on the right side with white and black, plain white, white with black in the center. And we're going to do a starburst pattern in the center of our um, hexagon that we have here. I guess it's a hexagon. And to start that, we're going to take our two band with the black. And we're going to run it from the last peg here up front to the center peg. Actually, I'm not going to like that because it's going to put my two blacks together here and I'm not going to like that. So I'm going to save that for a minute. Just take that right back off and don't worry about it the second. We're going to lay two bands from the center forward to complete the starburst there, or like start the starburst there. Two bands working our way around in a clockwise position with two bands. I'm going to put my two bands with the starburst, two bands with the black in the center go on the starburst, and then two more plain bands to complete our starburst. We're going to be doing a three time cat band in the center, one, two, and I lost one of those. I struggle getting my cat bands on guys, I'm sorry, one, two, three, three time cat band there in the center. <clears throat> and before we start to do the tail and the legs, I am going to add some extra pieces right now. I'm going to finish this face, then I'm going to work on the starburst, and then we're going to add the tail and the legs. So to complete the face area, you're going to take a single band, and this is going to become our horizontal band up here for the face. But before we do that, we have to make the nose and the muzzle area. 
To make the nose, we're going to take a single black band and wrap it around our hook five times. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to take three, three white bands and we're going to slide this black piece onto those three white bands. So just slide that over and you're going to reclaim the other end onto your hook. And this is going to form our muzzle area. Then your single band that you have here, you're going to slide that muzzle area right onto it and you're going to place it on your face just like so. So your horizontal band has become part with your muzzle on it. Where we tied our little knot for our tongue area, you want that to go right on the center peg, one side of it to go on that center peg in the middle of the face. So I just slid that right over the center peg in the middle of his face and I'm going to tuck that down in there tuck it down slightly and for a horizontal band sorry about that movement our horizontal band you want to take and lift up the front portion the top part over top of your center peg now for Sparky's eyes you're going to go on the top two across the top two and we're going to grab this with our hook and just pull it down so that it rests underneath that center peg. So you're kind of forming like a weird triangle type of, of shape there. And I know it's really hard to see with all the white. But that's how our face should look. Okay, sorry for that slight pause. We finished his face and now we're going to move on to working on our body area. Before I do that, we need to work on his tail. His tail is going to be um, looped on one of the starburst chains. So I need to make sure I do his tail first. And for the tail, you want to use this open area of your loom right here. And we are going to be doing two white bands. Two white bands. Two white bands, one black band, and we're going to double twist this onto it. One white band, double twist onto our loom. One white band, double twist, and onto our loom. And then we're going to finish off here with a five time cat band. One, two, three, four, five. And I know you guys hate it when I do the five time cat band. And it's just needed to make the tail pointy. It's the only way I can get the tail so pointy. So you can leave me a little nasty gram about the five time cat band if you want to. You can do a four time if you need to, to make the tail not so pointy. But I needed the five to get my tail to be so pointy. And I already know that you guys are going to complain because look, I just broke that two time band. But that's okay. We're going to leave our five time cat band there. We're going to take another white. And we're going to twist and replace it over and under our cat band. And we're going to try again. Reach in, gently pull out, and move around your bands. And there we go. And if you want to, you can relieve some tension by taking your hook in there and just running it around ever so slightly. And then we want to loom up again. And up again, and up again, and this is just straightforward looming for the tail. 
and stop there. Let's take our tail off, and you want to take your tail off using your hook point, and just gently take off your little tail, and there we go. We've got a cute little tail that we need to add on to this portion, this set of bands, the starburst bands here on the bottom. We need to add our tail to that portion. So what I want you to do is to reach into that last peg. The starburst should be sitting right on top. And I want you to slide the tail right down into that starburst. And voila. Our tail is sticking up and out right there. You just simply kind of push it underneath everything. Just push that tail underneath there. Not going to be needed till the end. So you just want to tuck your tail. Just tuck it underneath there and it'll be fine. Okay, we're going to start with looming the center of our starburst and working our way around. Reach into the center of my starburst, get my top two. And loop them. Now I'm to the tail portion. You just want the top two bands. And loop that back over to its peg. Now we're getting to the easier part because you don't have to struggle to find your bands as much through that part. And there we go. We have completed our starburst and our tail is still tucked up in there. And now we can begin to loom the outside edge of Sparky. But before we do his outside edge, we need to give him some legs and some arms and also some ears. So we need to take a second here and we need to work on his legs and his ears. So I'm gonna work on the back legs first. And to do those, we will need one black band, three white bands, two white, two white bands that you're gonna make into a two-time cap band here. So you're gonna take two bands and twist them twice onto that peg and make a two-time cap band. I'm going to work on his other leg, which has a spot in it, and I'm going to show you a neat trick for the spot. So his other back leg is going to be one white band, three white bands, two white bands twisted into a three-time cat band, or I'm sorry, two-time cat band, two whites two time cap, two by two. We're going to loop forward one time. And to add his little spot on his leg right here, this is where we're going to add a four time cap band. Uh, let's do a three time cap band. So it's not as tight for you guys. So we're going to take one, two, and three. We took one black band and wrapped it three times around. And then pull up your single band. And here we have got a little spot on our leg. And we're going to place that leg on the right upper right peg I'm sorry lower light lower right peg and then we're going to loom the other leg and we're going to pull that off the loom and that's going to go on the left And we need to do his paws, and that's going to be one white, 
two whites and a two white cat band. One, two times. And we're going to do the same thing for the opposite front leg, but it's going to be one black, two whites, and a two time white cat band there. Now we can begin to loom the leg area, the front paws, front legs, front little legs. And you want to take the one with the black up to the right, upper right. You want to take these paws here, loop up this paw, and that is going to go up there. And we might as well just work on the ears while we're at it before we begin to loom up everything. So let's just go ahead and do the ears and get them out of the way and put them on. So Spark Plug's ears will be one white, three whites, three whites, One white double twisted and a four time cat band here in black. One, two, three, four. Now, as we loop forward, we're going to be adding another black cat band on that one ear. We're going to lay out his other ear also, which is going to be one white three white, three white, one white, double twisted, and the end of this year is going to be a four time white cat band. One, two, three, and four. So as I said, we're going to be adding some spots when we go up the ears. For the first ear, we're going to grab in our black cap band and loom forward once, loom forward twice. In the next peg, you're going to add a three time cap band. One, two, three. Three time cap band in black, and that's what's going to give us our spot look. Reach back in, come forward, and finish your loom. While we're right here, we can take it off the loom, being gentle not to break any bands. And we can place it up top on the very top center peg, since you still have it in your hook. Top center peg, that's where we're going to add our ear. We're back to finishing off the right ear, and I'm not going to add any spots to this ear because he's going to have enough spots on his head. You can feel free to add spots if you want to. I just chose not to. And voila. Okay. So I just took his ear off and placed it up top there. Now we can begin to loom the rest of our creation. When we begin to loom, you want to reach into the cat band area, which has now become the part of the starburst from way back when. And we're going to loom to the right. And we're going to reach in there through all of those and we're going to grab that single band. These are single bands that we're getting out. We're looming straight forward. We're going to reach into all those legs and everything, and we're getting that single band that we laid so long ago and coming off to the center. I'm going to start back down here again, reach in for that single band off to the left, reach in through his legs and everything else. I'm getting that single band, and I'm looming up to 
the top, reach in, single band, looming off to the center. Got to give Spark Plug his neck and what's going to hold our bottom piece together with everything else at the top. You're going to push back all those bands that we laid for the starburst pattern and you're grabbing two white bands and coming straight forward to do the neck area, the cheek area after the neck be two bands off to the right, two bands off to the left, and we have a center band to worry with with the nose. For the nose, I just want you to pick up the nose piece and set it on top of that center band. So push your nose up there onto that center band. And we're going to loop our center around that. Be sure to grab your tongue your little tongue down in there and pull it out just a little bit. We'll have to fiddle with that at the end also. And we're going to take our nose and slide it back down so we're able to reach in beyond our eye band, the pink band, and get the two bands that are down there at the bottom and finish up the center. Now that our center is finished, we're going to reach in two bands on the left, reach in, two bands on the left, move over to the right, two bands coming forward, two bands to the center, and I did not start with a dangle band like I typically do, so we need to reach in through all that mess and pull up a white band slip knot it off and cross our fingers that sparky does not fall apart so here we go i always use the back of my hook i just think it's a much safer way to get the product off the loom especially with as many bands as we've had um, placed on it and the tension it has so here is Sparky. Sparky looks not so good at the current moment, but you gotta fiddle with Sparky a little bit to get him to look correct. So stretch out your starburst and push on the inner portion of his stomach just to kind of get his belly figured in. His tail pops out the back. His legs will be pointing down. Now for his head, what I want you to do is to take the back of your hook and I want you to place it in that neck band area and I want you to tug forward on those neck band areas. This gives his head the movement towards the back and we just need to fiddle with his head a little bit. Dig out his little nose, which I know it's in there. It came out the back, so I'm just going to push it through not his nose, his little tongue. I'm just going to push that right through and make sure it comes out in the correct spot I wanted it to. Here we go. And here we have our little sparky dog. You can play with the ears, get them to move in the direction that you want them to, get them to flop over some. This one can come down a little bit. There we go. Hide your securing band in the back. Hide it behind your head. Give Sparky a little red collar by taking a red band, or you could use blue, yellow, any color of your choice, and slide that back over. And here we have Spark Plug. Our little cute dog Spark Plug, our Dalmatian puppy. Okay, hope you guys will share photos with me on my Facebook page, Crafty Ladybug Dash Rainbow Loom Creations. And I can see your work if you post those on my Facebook page. Thanks so much.